Hello and welcome back to the cove with more frost punk. All right, we're in uh, day four at the moment and things are chilly, although there is a slight rise in the future. However, uh, we have some problems. We have some problems and we must still make our way around them. So at this stage, it looks like we're not doing too good on our food rations and unfortunately our cookhouse is inoperative. Unfortunate most certainly uh we are not going to be able to turn any of those raw food into food rations so that's going to put us a little bit behind the eight ball now what we are going to do is uh basically we're trying to make uh sorry we're trying to bring up our wood piles as quickly as possible and then uh towards and then tonight we're going to quickly send some more workers to work in the hot houses sorry not the hot houses the uh hunter's hut that is uh, what we'll do. Uh, so yes, we have a couple of problems that are barreling down towards us, but it is what it is. All right, so we still have another 19 hours before we can pass another book of laws. I'm thinking at this stage, given our bad food situation, we're either going to go with some soup. Uh, soup is definitely what I'd want to do. Otherwise, I think we're maybe going to start working our way towards uh, corpse disposal and uh radical treatments yeah we uh we know that we can get prosthetics some people will obviously die but uh you know it's uh we're trying to make the most of things and trying to survive and doing what it takes to get there so it will be interesting to see how all of that plays out all right so let's see at this stage we've got a little bit of wood we're almost there on the sawmill which is fantastic we'll hit that pause button right as that is finished uh so let's see we can start working towards a coal thumper uh that wouldn't be a bad idea heating would also allow us to get actually you know what oh allows us to use heaters during workplaces you know what that would actually be enough to sort out our food problem yeah i wasn't actually originally planning on doing that but i think we're going to yeah we're doing all right for coal at the moment we have a good access to wood, so that should be healthy. Uh, we'll go ahead and pick up some hunter's gear soon as well. Uh, but I think the first things first, let's get that heater up and running. Uh, that means, yeah, that means we can convert food. And uh, even though we'll be running a deficit, we will not be running as severe a deficit as we possibly could. All right, so we do have a sawmill now available, so let's see about placing that somewhere and making some, uh, making some timber. Uh, let's go and see, where would we want to place you? Hmm. Well, I would say that that's not a bad position. It does say invalid placement for... S oh, there we are. Okay, so we can put that there. We may lose a tree or two, but that is not necessarily the worst. Actually, no, it will tell us if we uh, destroy resources, so I suppose that is safe. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and uh, build you up about there. That's a pretty decent uh radius that you've got going so let's go ahead and uh, what do we need to do i think cut our way down here and then we'll reconnect it over there that'll just have to be what it is uh let's see did we connect everything uh i suppose yeah, street is under construction. Okay, everything is panning out. That's all that I care about. Uh, let's see. Can we go ahead and start another 24-hour work shift? We will be able to do that soon. Okay, so in a couple of hours, which I think will be the end of the day. Yeah, we'll go ahead and hit that and uh, should be able to squeeze out a couple of extra jobs, which I would be very keen to see. All right, also looks like our coal pile is depleted. That means there is no more work here at this, this gathering post. All right, well then let's go ahead and dismantle. I don't think that there is anything else available for them, so we might as well get that going. Uh, we'll also go ahead and 
Well, I guess until we get everything else finished, we may as well uh, turn off the cookhouse and uh, get them to build. Yeah, we're out of wood where, yep, yeah, that's all coming down. That's fine. Yeah. Okay, maybe if I had have uh, paid a slight bit of extra attention, we might not have been put into this situation that we're in with our cookhouse. Maybe we could have done that instead of the sawmill, but I guess, uh, I guess we miscalculated. Oh, well, it is what it is. That is the nature of things. All right, so work here is from 1800, so we'll be sure to uh, send them off immediately. Again, need as much food as possible. That should buy us maybe a day, but it's going to be close. And then in 12 hours, which should be early in the morning, we should be able to switch over to... We should be able to switch over to uh, soup. All right, so there we go. Let's go ahead and... Uh, let's see. We can pause that for now. Let's go ahead and send everybody out there. In fact... Four hours time you'll be finished. I want maybe... Uh, let's pull our engineers off that. Oh, wait a second. No, we have a couple of them available. Oh. Apparently workers can work there. Okay, so... I guess we'll send you there for now. And we will bring another nine back. And there you are. We'll send you out for food. Alright, that should be fine. Uh, that should help us out. In fact, uh, yes, yeah, some of our some of our engineers will be uh, not necessary to go back out there. We'll probably chuck them into a slightly warmer environment. Again, we do want to preserve our engineers if we can. All right, uh, let's also see how far off are we. This is disabled for a couple more hours. Okay. Well, that is what it is. Unfortunately. All right, so heaters is in 43 hours. I'm thinking we're probably going to get soup before we can reopen that. Uh, but we will see what we can do. So let's see. If that's uh, half, if that's one day, we're looking at what? A quarter? Sorry, uh, half a day, a quarter day. So that's about six more hours. That'll take us into the early AM. Yeah, but as soon as we can, we're going to hit that button. We need that to be up and running. So let's... Pull everybody off these and let the uh, gathering post do its thing. And then for the sawmill, uh, we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and uh, get workers working on that. We'll leave the engineers over in the gathering post. That should be fine either way. They'll be about as warm as each other. Uh, but at least I know where all my engineers are, and it's not as crucial to make up that extra steel and things. Uh, we just want this to be uh, passively disappearing. All right, scouts have reached the Lost Expedition. Fantastic. The rest of our people made camp here too, exhausted to go on. We should escort them to the city. All right, let's explore the area. Uh, we enter the camp, appearing out of the driving snow. A choir of excited voices welcomes us. Thank God you found us. We've, we have been wandering for days and we couldn't go on any longer. Soon we'd begin to starve. Children and adults surround us, packed and ready to go. Okay, so we've got a few more sites discovered. A cave and some shelter. Uh, we'll go ahead and... Hmm, we may lose some of them or we'll try and save them all. Let's go ahead and escort everybody to the city. Uh, a little bit of extra manpower wouldn't go astray, so they'll be home in a couple of hours. That will mean that we need more homes, so let's go ahead and start preparing. Uh, we will have... Hang on a second, how many people? 22 children. Uh, yeah, 10 engineers, 22 workers, and 4 children. So, 1, 2, 3 houses, 4 houses should be enough. Uh, let's build, I guess, the very next ring. Actually, hang on a second. Where is our medical post? Do they? No. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and just start building up a couple of buildings. I think we'll go... Where do we want to build? I think we'll start one, two, three, 
two, three. Yeah, I think for now we'll just stick within uh, what has already been established. That should be fine. We'll need to build a little bit of an extra road. Uh, that should be three wood. That'll be fine. We can manage this for now. At least we won't have more homeless when they arrive. So that is... Yeah, that should be manageable. Uh, we are short... Oh, actually, we're going to have maybe four people who are homeless. But either way, it's going to be what it is. Uh, let's go ahead and quickly make our way back to the workshop. Again, as soon as this emergency shift is available, we're going to hit that button. We want this technology to be progressing ASAP. So... There it is. Let's go ahead and start that. Discontent is rising. I do understand, but I believe it to be necessary. Uh, heaters are starting up. Again, if we can minimize the amount of sick that we're going to get, that would be beneficial to us. Uh, how is our... How is our efficiency? We're at 100%. Huh. Um... I thought we had children working here. I thought they were meant to be helping them out. Alright, well, either way, let's see what this event is. A refusal to work? A man assigned to an emergency shift has refused work. He said that he already he is already worn out and doesn't want to end up dead like one of his friends. He won't work and discontent will rise, or discontent will rise. Um... Honestly, I think we've got enough engineers at this stage. Let's have him rest, uh, which is going to upset people. But we're going to take one of our engineers. Yeah, there we go. And we will assign you over there. There we go. Okay, so nothing lo nothing lost. That is good. Uh, that's still dismantling in progress. That's fine. You're still being built. All right, you know what? I think at this stage we'll use you as a couple of builders. Oh, and it looks like the scouts have returned to the city. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and send them back out again. Let's go... So there's a crash site, a gloomy cave, or a sturdy shelter. Ah, decisions, decisions. Let's go straight to the crash site. I think that seems reasonable. Several wrecked vehicles, no signs of life, probably our machines. Yeah, and a number of supplies. That seems like a good call to me. So let's go ahead and... We will send them over there. That seems reasonable. That'll take you... Yeah, a bit over half a day, but that should be fine. Oh, and here are all of the survivors. Okay, well, reunions. It's heartwarming to see families reunited after so many hardships, but shouldn't there be other settlements nearby? The first expeditions left London long ago. They ought to be well established by now. They'll surely help us find our footing. Okay, well we will look for the others. Uh, but that crash site first and foremost. Okay, so food is becoming dangerous. Uh, we're about there on the technology. We're almost there on the Book of Laws. Uh, okay. So, yeah, our people are already out and searching. That's good for me. That's what I care about. Uh, it does look like we have a couple of excess workers, so that should be... Uh, let's not pause you anymore. Yeah, that should go down. Let's send in some other... I guess we'll go with some uh, regular workers for now. Heaters are researched. Fantastic. And in one hour 23, we can pass Super Wars. So we'll go ahead and get that started. Uh, in fact, uh, I don't think this is going... Yeah, this might actually time out rather perfectly. So they will start work at 8 o'clock. But we should be able to uh, get what we want. Uh, now, what else do we need? We, we're going to need coal, but I think we're good for now. Food, health and shelter I think hunting gear is probably going to be important extra food 
that's going to be necessary, especially since we're bringing in so many more mouths to feed. And then from there, I think we'll head straight to the drawing boards. But right now we need food. Yeah, right now we need food and that is fairly cheap. So let's see, 10 wood. Hmm. Bother. Uh, not quite there yet. Uh, let's make sure that those wood crates are counted. Yeah, everybody is in there. Let's go. I will send everybody to this one. And you know what? Uh, that's a coal pile. Let's start working on some of that, uh, that wreckage there. That'll have to be good enough. And then as soon as we get 10, we're going to be uh, very careful as to uh, make sure we're passing things ASAP. All right. First things first, adaptation. Let's go ahead and move to soup. It is horrible stuff, but it is uh, sometimes what gets you through life. So we're signing that into law right now. A new law has passed. Yeah, extra 20, uh, an extra 25% uh, boost to our uh, ability there. So that is rather good. Also go ahead and we'll turn that heater on. So we are making, we are making Food, but maybe not quite enough. We have one absence. You know what? We don't even have that much food left over, so it's just going to be what it is. Uh, nothing we can do about that. Waiting for work is here. We're still in operative because of no path to the generator. Hold your horses. That seems wrong. Did we just build most of a road, but not all of the road? That's ridiculous. All right, fine. Well, we'll get that done. Uh, that's going to eat into our timber supply, unfortunately. But again, this is uh, for the long term, so. Uh, hopefully we can make some good decisions. All right, so that seems to be going well. Everybody is working who can be working. Uh, we do have four people who are homeless. That is not ideal. But again, we'll get to your home as quickly as we possibly can. But first, we need to be making need to be making progress if we could just get this thing jolly well demolished that would be fantastic uh but for some reason it's just not getting taken down in fact you know what maybe that's a quicker way of doing things let's let's bring a few people off there and we'll see if they'll go ahead and dismantle this building yeah we're waiting for workers uh that should be enough timber for us to be able to get to where we need to go oh there we go let's start the research Man, that is so painful to be wasting part of our working day there and a uh, an emergency shift. It really does hurt not being able to uh, be as productive as we could be. Oh, but at least we are now up to a an efficient, a, uh, a new sawmill, which is rather efficient. So that is good. Uh, we do have one person in treatment, so that's fine. Uh, we'll go ahead and yep. We made it away with that, so that gives us some extra wood. Let's go ahead and build... Hmm. I think we need to build an extra hunting hut. That seems to be our... That seems to be our burden right now. Let's go ahead and... Oh, I hate how that looks, but I don't think we have much of a choice. Either that or we build it way out. Whoop, whoop. In fact, you know what? That's probably what we're going to do. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and build it right there, even though it's in a uh, funky locale. Uh, we'll go ahead and make sure that the road will connect it. That should give us some extra food overnight. Between that and the soup, we should be fairly efficient. And then given our homeless person let's go ahead and build ourselves a new tent uh that'll be required we just build it beside i think we do yeah we're going to build it in this little area here i know that we're eventually going to start getting fighting pits and some other things so this is going to be our little housing area keep things uh nice and warm in this location which should also help us uh, maintain some degree of warmth for some of our production buildings as well yeah not perfect but it'll have to be good enough all right so we're making good food that's nice uh we're already up to 101 so i feel 
Uh, let's see, food consumption for a day, 109. Yikes. Yeah, we're pulling it all fully thin, but it is what it is. At least we're not wasting any of our raw food at this stage. So hopefully we will be fine. All right, now I heard an event go boom. What went? Uh, what was that? I thought I heard something. Now, there's a sturdy shelter there. There's a crash site, gloomy cave. Hmm. Oh, uh, maybe frostbite? Oh no, never mind. We didn't give it a chance for it to uh, do anything. Okay, so what have we got here? Unburied corpse. Ah, you have our people have become ill after coming into contact with a decomposing body. I see. All right, we need to work on that. That'll be our next water pass. Unfortunately, that's still going to take us a good 12 hours. But I think we're going to go as much as I would prefer to have a cemetery. Um, organ transplants being down the line it could be fantastic. And if that avoids us needing uh, prostheses or unnecessary deaths, I feel like that could be most beneficial. So uh, we'll just have to do with what we've got. Alright, so some wood is depleted, steel wreckage is depleted. Uh, let's send... Let's pull back over there. We're going to max out over here. Yeah, see if we can get that steel wreckage. We might put up another sawmill around here. That could be I. Uh, that could be good for us. Uh, Heat-wise, we're doing okay. We've got plenty of coal to keep that up and running. We've got more steel than what we actively need. So I guess that's. I guess that's as good as you could really ask for. Uh, the sawmill is producing a decent amount of wood. Yeah, 7.2 per hour. We're working. What is that? 10 hour shifts so that's 72 per day so that is going to keep us in the running with our uh, with our workshop and our technology production there that'll be good in fact uh yeah this will this should time out fairly nicely so if this finishes in a, in an hour that would be right about as uh, they're going to start heading off for the day so we should be able to make the most out of both Yep, there we go, right on time. Let's go ahead and add ourselves a new research. Uh, Coal Thumper is nice, but I don't think it's the best choice right now. I think what we're going to do is we're going to go for drawing boards. Yeah, increased power generator, range and power, that's going to be useful. More scouts is going to be incredibly useful. Search uh, more, for more resources earlier. And then, yeah, depots, coal mining, sawmill upgrades, as well as uh, medical posts as well. So, yeah. Okay, so I think that's what we're going to go ahead and do. Uh, steam hubs will be nice, but we'll do that in the future, I think. Yeah, all right. Drawing boards it is. 50, 50 timber say goodbye it is what it is uh, but that will help us out in the long run also make sure that that hunter's hut is sufficiently staffed uh let's make sure all right no one of them needs to be there let's send our workers here and then uh we need three more And there we go. So we'll send engineers where they can work. We send the workers where they can be. Yep, that seems like the best uh, course of action that we could possibly ask for. All right, so close at this time of day, that's fine. Uh, let's see, is that? Okay, so raises the workplace temperature by one level while there are people working. We can turn that off. I don't think we will need it because it's about to go back up a level. So I feel like we should be safe for now. Or at least uh, that is my hope. As soon as that goes... Yeah, so it's cold at the moment. It'll go back to chilly there. Honestly, a slight chance of falling ill is uh, permissible in my opinion. So, what have, our, what have our explorers found? Wood and raw food. Oh, yes. Okay. Let's go ahead and search the area. Uh, fate of the Forgotten. 
There are plenty of priceless supplies in the wrecks of our expedition, searching among the crates scattered in the snow behind the wrecks. We found the bodies. They're tangled together in a single frozen mass, as if these people were trying to find at least a bit of warmth just before they died. We can do nothing for them, not even bury them. But we have discovered an observatory. So let's go ahead and take all of that. That is going to be rather nice. I feel like... Let's see, it's about, what, the same amount of time, a little bit quicker for them to return. We are finding more and more people. I think we'll go... Hmm, that extra food could really help us out. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and tell them to return. Yeah, so that'll only take us eight hours. So, yeah, that was 12 to get there, eight to come back. So we save 33% uh, percent of time when we do recount our uh, previous expeditions. And I think that that is going to be necessary. We're very short on food right now. So uh, we have, what is this, 60 food. Uh, 60 food should turn into... What's that? Uh, 120, 150 odd food in the long run with soup. So that will be enough to uh, give us a surplus. But uh, we're going to have to... Uh, we're going to have to make sure that we don't actually run out of food first, which is why we're getting them to recall. Because if they can arrive in the night time, we should have just a couple of rations. And then from there, we should be in the clear for the next little bit. Or at least that is what I'm hoping. Or at least until we find some more survivors or whatever have you. Alright, next problem. Food for overtime work. Our people are becoming less and less committed to their work. Perhaps we should give them extra rations while they're sweating blood on emergency shifts. Uh, well, at least this will increase hope. And... Just for some food. You know what? We're going to give it to them. As I said, we're going to be in the surplus... We should be able to afford this. This will at least take the sting out of uh, our current, yeah, of our current situation just a little bit, because we're definitely going to be needing to use these emergency work shifts at least a couple more times, as uh, things are progressively getting worse. So we'll just have to accept that for now. Uh, let's see. We're doing pretty good on steel. We're doing decently on wood. Coal is going to last us for four days. Let's just double check. Uh, coal is now... Ah, we're at a grand total of nothing, of course. Uh, yes, because I forgot we'd finished up with that little position there. We're going to need to start grabbing some of this coal. Uh, let's send... Uh, that gathering post is final. Let's send this to none. We're going to send you over to here. Um, we need to make sure that we're working on just a little bit of coal production. Again, we have four days worth, so it's not the end of the world. Uh, but we do need to uh, head that off before things get even worse. That would be... That would be less than ideal. Alright, so, technology. We are now with drawing boards. Okay, so coal consumption is fine at this stage, so I'm not going to go with any of these upgrades. That would be nice, but unnecessary. Uh, we could go for charcoal kiln. That would cost a fair bit of our wood, but it would give us some coal. I think coal thumpers are probably going to be all right, though. I think in the last in the last playthrough, we did a lot with our coal thumpers over the charcoal kilns, so uh, it isn't a bad idea. Um, either that, or we do now have access to a wall drill. Uh, those will be future problems for us. I think we'll go with... I think we're going to go with more scouts at this time. Yeah, the faster we can scout out all of our surroundings, the better. If we can, uh, yeah, if we can find as many resources as possible, that would be quite nice. But I think after this, we're going to start working on the coal thumpers. All right. So a new wall can be passed. Let's go ahead and build our corpse disposal. Again, a cemetery would be nice, but I think organ transplants is going to be the uh, the better long-term play. So let's go ahead and do this. Uh, so no one will get sick anymore from the unburied bodies, and uh, we will have them for future use. Discontent will rise. 
hope we'll fall. But we're doing fairly well as far as hope is concerned. Um, either that or maybe we do go with the cemetery. I don't know. Hope will rise. That's nice. Uh, we'll keep some of our people from building for a few hours. I just don't know what the ceremonial funerals are. And I know that organ transplants, that seems... That seems very uh, useful. You know what? I think at the end of the day, we need to play this for the long-term survival. I think if organ transplants will help save more people in the long run, uh, we're going to go ahead and go with corpse disposal. It is unfortunate, but it is what it is. Alright. Let's go ahead and build that up. That's a necessity. Let's throw that out. Uh, I need to find somewhere to put this. Well... For now, I don't see us uh, using... This area is already uh, set up, so let's just go ahead and throw you in there. Actually, what are you? You're a... Hunting hut, hunting hut. Yeah, we can put it in here, because we don't need to keep that spot warm at this stage. Uh, but it is nice and accessible, and it seems to be the right size for things. So we'll go ahead and do that. Oh, we also have a whole bunch of six, so we do need to work on that as well. Uh, let's build another medical post. Let's throw that. Yeah, we'll put that over. Actually, you know what? We'll put that over here. That way, if we can uh, get ourselves a, um, a steam hub, we can keep, we can keep food... Uh, food coming along as well as our sick nice and warm and healthy okay disband our scouts they have returned or we can send them back out obviously we are going to go ahead and send them back out i think we'll go uh let's see sturdy shelter we're kind of uh riding the line as far as our uh, food and things are concerned let's go to the observatory we're going to go ahead and send them out there yeah this uh, this peculiar building must be the Arctic Observatory, a Royal Society built to investigate the eternal winter. There's smoke over it. Ooh. Uh. Gloomy cave. Hmm. You know what? Let's go for the sturdy shelter. I think that's. Yeah. There's no smoke over here, but maybe they have resources, and I'm sure that 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 is the one that people want us to search for. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll send that, send them out. And I think that that's where we're going to call things again for today. I think we made some pretty good progress. We've passed some laws. We should hopefully be in a little bit better position in the next one, especially with the temperature warming up. So if you do want to see that, be sure to hit that subscribe button. It is the best way to catch all future content and I'll see you next time. So until then, thank you for tuning in to the Leviathan Cove. This is the Leviathan, signing out. Mm -hmm.